back down by 14 on the road. OU playing with fire, accepting instead of declining a running into the kicker penalty. OU punting the ball again to the fastest man in the conference, OSU's Tyree Kill, and it burned the Sooners and allowed OSU to pull off the upset. The biggest upset in Bedlam history. OSU was a 21-point underdog coming off five straight losses. The Pokes coming in from 14 points down with less than five minutes to go with a freshman quarterback at the helm and a gutsy bunch of Cowboys. A three-pointer won it in overtime, and as Caden reports from Norman, a Sour OSU season has turned into a sweet one at the end. Big Al, thank you very much. They call this series Bedlam for a reason, and today's ball game about as improbable as any. OSU, a three touchdown underdog, comes in here and knocks off OU in Norman for the first time in 12 years. But the upset itself, far less surprising than how it all unfolded. It didn't feel real at the time. I was crying tears of joy. So it, it didn't feel real. Up seven with less than a minute to play. Bob Stoops took the roughing the kicker penalty and re-kicked to Tyreek Hill. Not a good idea. You know, I fault myself for, of course, in hindsight now, you, you know, you don't kick it again. You know, my thought process was, you know, the one-step punt it. Uh, we've been doing it all year. Um, Get it down there, hang it around the 10 5. You got a chance to eat up another eight or so seconds. Uh, that didn't happen. It just felt like I was floating, for real. So I'm just real excited and thankful. We got a break. You know, we, re we returned one in this game, and um, Tyreek was, was super. After a defensive stop in overtime, Ben Grogan giving OSU its first lead since the month of October and setting off a raucous celebration. <laughs> OSU's bowl game streak will reach nine seasons in a row. Uh, it was a rough month for everybody on the team. Uh, we're losing consecutive games, but we got the victory today, and that's the most important part. We get to play another one. A win today makes everybody feel better. As for the Sooners, controlled this game offensively until Samaj P. Ryan leaving with an injured ankle mid-third quarter. A disappointing season ends with the most bitter defeat yet. Obviously, that's not the way that we wanted it to have to go, and uh, you know, there's really not much I can say other than you know we just didn't get it down at the end. Well, I'll go back through the games, and you you can figure out what the, some of the issues were, right? When you miss the field goals, you miss, you know, you give a pick six. You, you, I, I've been through them all. When you do those kind of things and give up a punt return at the end of the game, you give yourself more opportunity to lose. So OU finishing the regular season 8-4, and four, likely heading to Orlando for the Russell Athletic Bowl December the 29th. OSU off to Tempe for the Cactus Bowl or Memphis for the Liberty Bowl. Al, it was Bedlam Madness. From here in Norman, Caden McFarland, 2 News works for you. Okay, Caden, thank you. You're final again, 38-35. Rudolph looks as if he's in position to be battling for next year's quarterback top spot in Stillwater. Meanwhile, Pirine, before he left, 156 yards and two touchdowns.